you know, at the age of twenty-five, when uh, an overwhelming experience happened to me on the Chamundi Hill. After that, in the next two months, I noticed that a certain sound was coming out of me, often. Initially, I thought uh, for some reason my breath is rasping. Even now, in United States, uh, when I'm initiating people, when I say shambo, I don't say it like this when I say shh. People say, Sadhguru, when you whistle, our energies go crazy. Why are you whistling like that? I said, it's not a whistle, <laughs> I'm saying shh. So this sound started happening from within me like a rasp. I did not know what it is. All my life I had never uttered such words. I grew up as a confirmed atheist, very involved in uh, the left movements of those days. <laughs> This sound just coming out of me like this, <laughs> I thought my breath, something crazy going on. But after some time it started coming out more distinctly. So it's not by choice I started saying these things and doing what I'm doing. I'm just a slave <laughs> And uh, initially I fought, then I knew this is like you versus cosmos game. I'm smart enough to understand it's not worth fighting. Sadhguru, I read in uh, the Mystics Musings that you clapped at the time of Dhyana Linga consecration and there was a crack on the Linga. Can you explain the significance behind that and uh, is, it, is it the sound or is it something else? Cracking of the stone is not because of the sound. I don't even know if it made sound, it made some sound, but it's not the sound, it is a different process. Because if you… if any energy happens at a certain scale, sound gets produced. Have you seen the airplanes sometimes, the fighter jets are going and they, when they break the sound barrier, boom, like a bomb it goes. All that happened is an object moved faster than what it was Within… from a certain limit, it crossed that limit of speed and suddenly there's an explosive sound, nothing exploded. See, nothing blew, all right, there's no fire, but there is sound. When a jet crosses the sound limit, there is no fire, there's no explosion happening, nothing great happening in the engines of the jet, but still you hear a boom because an energy is created. So, the energy is the basis of the sound. The sound is not the basis of the energy. It's the energy which is the basis of the sound. Because there is energy in this body, I can make these sounds, isn't it? But at the same time, sound is the basis of energy on another level. It is because of sound that energy has happened. When there is no sound, there is energy but it is unmanifest. It is simply there.